You looking forward to a few days in Birmingham? I am actually. Um, yeah, it's going to be really nice. A bit of culture, a bit of city life, a bit of swishiness. Swishiness. <laughs> Nice curry at Tamatangas. Nice curry, yes. I'm not being paid for this, but Tamatangas, Indian restaurants in Birmingham is just fab. And if you're watching Tamatanga and you want to give us some black lentil dal as a freebie, that would be good. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly done, Fran. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. It's, uh, I got quite wet every now and again, and it takes you by surprise. You don't always see the air vents. And sometimes the drips are not where there's an air vent. So yeah, I'm soggy, a bit cold, but we're nearly at the end. Well, here we go on our way to Birmingham, just about five or six miles. Steve? Yeah, something like that. Just putting the boat into neutral every time we go through a bridge, just in case we get uh, stuff wrapped around the prop. All right, dear me, if we come out of the tunnel, it's like thick, it's just thick, muddy water that we're going yes. through. And you could see the weed building up as I gradually went through the tunnel. Now, welcome to Birmingham. Enjoy, enjoy your tunnel experience. It's a really interesting tunnel. Um, tunnels can be quite boring to go through. I went through this one completely while Rich chose to do the washing up, yeah. which was all right. It is a really wide tunnel. I think the widest that I can remember going through. Really wide and high. It's got a towpath either side, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, and really tall. Um, so it's actually, you would think it's easy to cruise through. But steering is a so-and-so in a tunnel, isn't it? You just, I don't know if there's not enough water in there or what, but as soon as you go off the straight line, it's really difficult to recover. And we shut ourselves inside the, uh, the back doors of the boat because it's safer, especially if one of you are inside, if you fall off, nobody would know. And so you're steering with your arm behind. So I'm, re <laughs> I'm really aching two miles of tunnel. Yeah, it was tough. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're really looking forward to being in Birmingham. We've been uh, offered some secure moorings, so we're going to take them up on that offer. Thank you very much. And uh, you're off to do some protesting. I am. So on Saturday, there is a march in London. It's the biggest wildlife march that there's ever been and it's called Restore Nature Now and all the wildlife and nature groups are part of it. Um, I, can't, I can't listen, there's so many, to try and get something done about the state of our nature. Um, I wasn't going to go, I was going to do a bit, start a bit of a campaign that I think I'm going to get going about the towpaths and uh, destruction of habitats along the towpaths but I've decided I'm going to go. So. Yeah. I don't yeah. blame you. I'd like to go as well, but I've got the dogs to look after. We yeah. can't take them all the way down to London to march a few miles to come all the way back. So I'm staying here. It's about two hours on the train to get there yeah. and then back again, Just isn't it? Entertain so. myself with something, but good for you, Fran. Yeah. Let's hear. Let's hope uh, the next government are within listening distance and uh, do something about the sorry state of the nature of this country. Yeah. It being the worst in Europe. Don't get me started because I could go on for hours, yeah, but um, that's, not. <laughs> that's for another time. <laughs> All right, come on then, crank it. Today's journey sees us leaving Netherton Tunnel, turning right onto the main line towards Birmingham. A five mile journey completely lock free and ending at Oozles Loop. Oops. 
so narrow going through there, you'll almost come to a standstill. So there's two ways you can go to Birmingham now. Take the left route, there's some locks that way, I think there's six in total, or take the right route and there's no locks. So guess where we're going? You want a train, a lorry and a boat all at once? That's what we need. I love this old industrial architecture and it's a pity about the graffiti but wouldn't these buildings make great accommodation? one of those islands in the middle of the canal that <laughs> brings you to a standstill. It's unbelievable. These islands are relics from the past where there would be a toll house situated on top where the boat's depth was measured to gauge the weight and charged a toll. Still enjoying it, Fran? I just really like, you know, it is nice sometimes to come into industrial places, isn't it? And um, so interesting, that the architecture. I love seeing all the old buildings, you know, imagining what it used to be like. And I actually like the graffiti as well. It's just like, not the like scrolling stuff, but this is quite artistic, a lot of it. Um, I know it's a matter of opinion and a bit of a bone of contention, but yeah, I quite like it. There's a place for graffiti and I don't think it's on hundreds of years old architecture but uh, Where do you think it is then? Call me Mr. Old Fashioned In the art studio <laughs> <laughs> It's just like these bits are just brick, old brick walls though along here You know, there's, it's not like a built, it's not a building as such mm. Anyway, it's a personal thing isn't it? Isn't it? But um, this is so interesting, all the old bridges and the little arms that are coming off either side of the canal Love it! Yeah, it is fab. I'm really enjoying it too. And the wildlife as well. I think we've seen more flowers and wildlife here than we have along the canals out in the countryside. Absolutely oh, yeah. gorgeous. It's a sunken the boat. boat there, yeah. <laughs> Bit of static there, friend. <laughs> the tension's high. I think you need some harmony hairspray. Oh. So we've moored up here at Sherbourne Wharf uh, on Oozles Loop, right in the heart of Birmingham. And you wouldn't know you were right in the heart of Birmingham. It's so quiet. It's gated moorings, so you haven't to access unless you've got the key. And we decided we'd pay for a few nights here so we can go exploring Birmingham while the dogs can stay on board. 
It's a great little place run by some great people. And they also do day trip boats. So uh, if you're interested, Sherborne Wharf. Parts of my hometown, Birmingham, have changed. They're unrecognisable now. But uh, it's still a vibrant, beautiful city with plenty to see, plenty to do, plenty to eat. And it is fab. So if you've never taken your boat into Birmingham, I fully, fully recommend it. It is amazing. Well, it's time for us to depart and uh, we're just leaving the canal side moorings which I have to say are almost as quiet as the uh, secure moorings that we paid for but um, absolutely amazing and there's no other city in the country that has maintained their heritage and linked the new developments to the canal side like they have in Birmingham. It is such a wonderful place to be. There, I'm getting all emotional now. <laughs> Just to the left here is the International Convention Center, which also houses Symphony Hall, home to the world famous City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, made even more famous in the 80s by the fantastic conductor Simon Rattle. Here we are going under Broad Street Tunnel, but for fans of 1970s rock, renamed recently Black Sabbath Bridge. So here we are at the world famous Gas Street Basin. Just have to pass through this narrow stop lock area, just under the bridge here, and then turn right onto the Worcester and Birmingham Canal in search of some peace and quiet.
by Birmingham. It's been emotional. So it's another five or six miles today, lock free on the Worcester and Birmingham Canal, turning left onto the Stratford and Avon Canal in search of a quiet mooring. We're supposed to be coming off the Worcester and Birmingham Canal and going down there to the Stratford and Avon Canal as somebody's overshot the I, junction. I think it's a sign, I think we're meant to go that way. Do you reckon? Whoops. Anyway. King's Norton guillotine lock is another example of a water saving device between canal companies. Restored recently, it is left permanently open now. We are just about to go through Randwood Tunnel, 322 metres, 350 something yards. And there's the Bard of Britain, I think. Is it Shakespeare? I'm not sure. I think so. So we've made it out of Birmingham. We've uh, had a big cruise today. The weather is just fantastic. It's really warm, isn't it? It's yeah. just, and everything, I don't know, we had a week in Birmingham, but in that week, the countryside has changed so much. And it just feels funny that we left a mooring this morning surrounded by street lights, building lights, sirens, and joggers running past the boat at about seven o'clock in the morning. Earlier than that sometimes. <laughs> um, and then suddenly we're back in the peace and quiet and we've really been longing for a bit of um, countryside again, yeah. haven't we? So we've got out, out of the suburbs of Birmingham now, we're in the sticks, looking for a good spot to moor up so yeah. we can just sit back and relax for a couple of nights. Yeah, we, we get a bit uncentred, don't we, when we're in cities and we do enjoy it. But we, yeah, discombobulated. Um, so this is just lovely lovely England's playing tonight so we can sit down and um what was that look for well, let's hope they've got a bit more vim about them this time it'll be all right don't you, you worry but I don't think we care really we're just going to be out quiet and yeah but yeah Birmingham was great and um it's changed so so much since I used to live there many years ago and there's lots of skyscrapers glass and concrete everywhere isn't there yeah. it's just i don't know it's a fantastic place it's a fun place to be but it's losing some of its character i think a lot of old buildings have been demolished even buildings from the 90s and 80s and 70s are you know earmarked for demolishing which is a bit bizarre but um yeah this is a city for you i suppose there's still some old buildings in the city dotted in between the new ones and it, it does all look lovely but the the, the um, heritage side of it is definitely 
on the canals. The city yeah. itself, I yeah. think, has lost a little bit of its cultural appeal. But boy, are the, the moorings and the canals gorgeous in Birmingham, aren't they? It's wildflowers all along the sides yeah. of the canal. Yeah or you know planted up as little meadow bits it's just beautiful beautiful place to moor isn't it we stayed in a gated uh, wharf so you only have access if you've got the canal key and uh, that was so quiet wasn't it, it was unbelievably Unbelievable. quiet it was just amazing yeah, yeah. and we did that mainly because we wanted to go exploring a little bit and we didn't want to leave the dogs the canal side with so many people about um, in case they barked and it was perfect for that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. The Sherbourne Wharf, it was lovely. Fantastic. Sherbourne Wharf, yeah. Highly recommended. And we haven't done a city since Leeds, I think, a big city. Mm. I thought I had something around the prop again yeah, then. A rubbish in the canal. Um, we hadn't done a, a big city since Leeds, and it'll be quite a while before we do anything that big. Next stop is Stratford upon Avon, which yeah. is obviously nowhere near as big as that. So we're now on the Stratford on Avon Canal. And it is stunning, isn't it? It's yeah. such a beautiful, beautiful yeah. canal. And uh, we're looking forward to just travelling slowly again, as usual, and wending our way down. We're meeting up with Pete and Caroline from One More Day, One Day More. Oh, you're <laughs> going to get shot for that One Day More aboard. <laughs> and uh, that would be nice cruising with them for a while. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we're looking for somewhere now to park up and uh, kick back. Definitely. Sweet. Uh, this will do just nicely. And breathe. A massive thank you to everybody that supports the channel through Patreon, Ko-fi or YouTube membership. And to everybody who buys our products and merchandise, it really is appreciated. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe and like and go back and watch all our other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.